I was re-watching the first episode of Spongebob for another video I'm making and I didn't even realize how many mistakes there were in this one episode alone that I missed after hundreds of times watching it as a kid. But get this, I went online and I actually found even more mistakes in Help Wanted. And today I want to break down this episode and show you every mistake I was able to find. And honestly, there's a lot of them. Help Wanted, it's the first episode of this iconic TV show. From the get-go, we are met with the sight of Bikini Bottom, and the cameras make their way to the house of our protagonist, SpongeBob SquarePants. This giant pineapple sticks out like a sore thumb at the bottom of the ocean. Yet here's where we find our first mistake. The SpongeBob house is actually missing a window, and this is proven by multiple different angles that we'll eventually get to see as the series continues. Now I get it, one could argue that maybe this was the original state of the house and SpongeBob would eventually upgrade it to include an additional window. As Especially since at this very moment, Spongebob doesn't even have a job, so maybe he was waiting to get a paycheck so he can make some home improvements. The episode kicks off with Spongebob getting super excited for his big day where he will apply to be a fry cook at the Krusty Krab. He's even out here lifting barbells, I mean, sorta, of, and declaring he's ready in true Spongebob style. I'm ready! Patrick, stuck under his rock, cheers Spongebob on until he reaches the Krusty Krab. There he admires the restaurant, calling it the finest eating establishment. And I couldn't agree more, I mean look how good the show makes these Krabby Patties look. Amazing! I've got to tell someone about this! Mmm, I have always wanted to try one of these bad boys. Anyways, in this scene, we can see that Spongebob is looking at the Krusty Krab, and he's standing on the sand. Yet, in the very next shot, he's out on the road. Like, does bro have a teleporting device or something? Then, all of a sudden, as you might expect, Spongebob starts doubting himself to ask for the job. This is when good old Patrick comes to the rescue, reminding Spongebob of all his unique talents. This is where we find another one of these episode glitches, where Patrick's eyelids are pink instead of the usual purple. Maybe the animator got lazy here, I mean you have to remember that these early episodes were drawn by hand 100%, so I can't imagine what they had to do to save time. But Patrick's pep talk works, and as Spongebob is shouting that he is ready to go in and ask for a job, his collar, which is always white due to his white shirt, becomes red, but that doesn't stop him. Spongebob dashes towards the Krusty Krab, ready to take on the world. Squidward can be seen removing a graffiti of himself from the entrance of the Krusty Krab. You can even see the word loser with an arrow towards a drawing of him, which by the way if you ask me like that's hilarious he hears spongebob coming his way and looks back to see what's going on and you know he sees spongebob but here's the thing after squidward looks back to see spongebob the arrow in the graffiti is gone now i don't know maybe squidward kept cleaning while he looked back and cleaned the arrow but i don't know i doubt it squidward heads inside desperately trying to warn mr krabs about spongebob's arrival when spongebob arrives at the crusty crab the enter sign in front of the crusty crab is on the road sign instead of next to it and not to anyone's surprise but the enter sign is also missing from all of the overhead shots of the Krusty Krab throughout this episode. Spongebob enters the Krusty Krab and in his typical enthusiastic manner asks Mr. Krabs for a job, but then he trips and just starts bouncing around everywhere. After all the bouncing around, Spongebob confidently asks Mr. Krabs when he can start. This is another one of those subtle mistakes we can find in this episode. If you zoom into the background, you can see the screen shake for like a split second. Now this detail, I didn't see it when I was re-watching the episode, I actually had to go online to find this. Like my god, this glitch is so small. How these fans were able to find these mistakes is beyond me, but it's clearly there. Mr. Krabs, seeing an opportunity to get rid of SpongeBob, sends him on a wild goose chase for a hydrodynamic spatula. Hydrodynamic, yeah I said that right? Spongebob, ever the opportunist, takes this task seriously and runs off to find one. Now Spongebob passes by a caravan of buses heading towards the Krusty Krab. Initially, there are only four buses in the shot. Yet when the buses arrive at the Krusty Krab, there's an additional bus for a total of five. Like I wonder how in the hell do errors like this get made? They could have easily gone back and checked the number, but I mean I suspect it's probably because five buses surrounding the Krusty Krab, it probably just looks better for the framing. Anyway, so anchovies travel in a group called School and are notorious for being stinky. Mr. Krab smells them even before their bus is pulled over by the Krusty Krab. And we realize something bad's about to happen when Mr. Krabs yells out, Anchovies! Wait, did you see it? All right, I'm gonna bring it back. So when Mr. Krabs yells anchovies, the top of Squidward's mouth is like separated with a line. I don't know, the animators did him dirty on this one. Anyways, another mistake happens when the anchovies are getting off their buses. Their pupils seem to be small compared to their body. But then in the very next scene, which happens inside the Krusty Krab, you can see their pupils are getting bigger and more proportional to their body. Squidward, trying to calm the situation, yells at the anchovies to be quiet and if this is any way to behave. Now, you can clearly see that the Krusty Krab side 
window and metal back wall are both gone. Now this one was a very easy error to spot and I actually did spot this as a kid when I watched it. So I don't know, I'm pretty proud of myself for that one. But moving on, after failing trying to calm down the anchovies, Squidward and Mr. Krabs try to escape the anchovy invasion by hiding behind the counter. Now there's a sign above the counter that reads order here, but when the anchovies are picking up the boat, that sign is nowhere to be seen. I mean, perhaps they got knocked down? I don't know. The anchovies are causing such a commotion inside the Krusty Krab that they even make the building jump all over the place. In the overhead shot of the Krusty Krab where the restaurant is jumping left to right, the white spots on two of the Krusty Krab's decorated flags are purple. This error is a bit less subtle than most, but you can see it way better when the Krusty Krab is not being moved around by a bunch of anchovies. As the herd of anchovies descend on the Krusty Krab, Overwhelmed, Squidward and Mr. Krabs try to create refuge on one of the supporting pole beams of the building. As they hit the pole, a frame of what looks like an alternate or inverted background of the credits appear. Now this one took me a good second to see since it happened so fast, but kudos to whoever found this because I was never going to notice this one. Like I know I could have not found this by myself. As all the commotion is going on at the Krusty Krab, Spongebob went to Bargain Mart looking for the special kind of spatula, but as he's searching through the aisles, Spongebob's eyelashes just disappear disappear. Again, maybe this was a way to cut expenses or maybe they just didn't have enough time to animate. But I mean, come on, Spongebob's eyelashes. Now back at the Krusty Krab, as Mr. Krabs and Squidward fear for their lives, they climb higher and higher above the pole to put some distance between them and the mob of anchovies. When Mr. Krabs shouts for Squidward to climb, Squidward's upper teeth are purple. Now maybe, just maybe this wasn't even an error at all, but happened as a cause due to the fear from the situation. I don't know, but just when things look grim, Spongebob returns, miraculously with the requested hydro dynamic spatula. I don't know why I can't say that, but you know what I'm saying. He actually states like how lucky he is because there was only one left, which only can occur in the Spongebob universe, of course. Would you believe they only had one in stock? But here's the thing, I noticed in this scene how the pole Mr. Krabs and Squidward are holding onto appear to be changing color from scene to scene. Like it looks to me that sometimes the pole is red while other times the pole is blue. I don't know, I don't know, is it, is it just me? Anyway, Spongebob immediately heads to the kitchen and starts cooking Krabby Patties to start feeding the hungry anchovies. After every single anchovy has been fed and left, Squidward and Mr. Krabs meet with Spongebob to command him for his burger flipping skills and even starts to cheer for him. Now this is very subtle, but if you slow down the clip, we can see that every time Mr. Krabs jumps when he says hip hip, his white undershirt disappears for a split second. Personally, I think this is one of those mistakes I would have overlooked because of the physical aspect of the drawing while Mr. Krabs is jumping, but who cares about his shirt because Spongebob's impressive performance earns him the job. Oh yeah, and one last interesting observation to point out. The chum bucket is not across the street from the Krusty Krab in this episode. Now this is also due to the chum bucket not appearing until its debut, which makes total sense. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys want me to re-watch more Spongebob episodes, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.